So cute. <laughs> So this is like a thousand stickers. So I have three back-to-back -back cons coming up. So I have to order all my stickers all at once to make sure I don't like run out. Um, but I have Chromacon. So about Chromacon, basically it didn't happen. Uh, it kind of like exploded literally the day before it was supposed to happen. So it was a big mess for the attendees, the con runners, for the artists. It was, it was a whole thing. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it. You can look it up on their socials about the situation, but basically they just had issues with the venue and it was just kind of overall disappointing. I feel bad for the attendees and the con runners, but also it just sucks to miss out on revenue, you know? But it is what it is. I'm grateful that I was able to have two more cons in March, so I was kind of chilling with it. It's okay. Um, awesome con in DC. And then GalaxyCon Richmond, all back to back. So it's gonna be a busy March, but I'm ready for it. Oh my God, look at all these stickers. This is where I get my stickers from, by the way. Vinyl Disorder, I think they're pretty good. These are all the stickers. A lot of them are reorders, but a few of them are new. So a lot of these are reorders. So I reordered these uh, Soju, Yakult, Ramen, and Boba Cats. This might be the last time I make this design because I kind of want to redesign them to like suit my style more, but we'll see about that. And then... ordered more Chainsaw Man cats and then I added Megumi to join the Gojo cat. I always have to order so many Gojo cats because people keep eating those up. And then I reordered these two designs, the Pump It Up cat and the DDR cat. And then these moon designs with the cat and the bunny fishing for the star. And then these are the new designs that are like, beware, beware the dog. I got that dog in me. So we have Pom Pom and then Angie. And then we got Pochako, and then Cinema Roll, and then Snoopy. Good morning. It is March 8th, and today we're gonna go to DC for Awesome Con. I have all my stuff packed up. Um, I'm really excited to go because the last con I was supposed to go to last week got canceled. So, or it didn't get canceled, I just couldn't go. But I've never been to Awesome Con before, but it's in the same convention center that Otacon is held in, so I kind of know like what it looks like and how it's gonna go, so hopefully that's okay. Yeah, let's go. So Awesome Con is held in the Walter E. Washington Convention Center, and the thing about this convention center is that there's no connected parking to the convention center. So what I recommend doing is just like picking a spot on Spot Hero just so you have like a reserve spot so you don't have to like worry about it or think about it when you need to go to the convention. But loading all my stuff in was pretty easy because I had my friend to help me. I basically just dropped all my stuff at the hand carry entrance and left her there while I parked. But if you're by yourself, you can use the loading dock. It is free. I think for Otakon last year, you had to pay to use the loading dock, which is like in the same convention center as I mentioned before. But at least for Awesome Con, it's free, so you should definitely use it if you want to use it. But yeah, load in and setup was pretty easy. It always goes by so much better when I have someone to help me, so I'm always really grateful for my friends. I didn't really change anything from last time. It's pretty much similar to like all the other setups, but I do have a new crib. Maybe I should put it inside. There's like little cats and they're walking home. So cute. Maybe I'll put this one in front. And then I have some new stickers. They're Beware the Dog. So this one's Pochoco. This one's Snoopy. This one's Cinema Roll. And then this one's Pop Up Baron. So I hope people like those ones. It's cute. And then I took off this pin because I'm putting it on clearance because it kind of doesn't really match my brand anymore and it also gets stolen all the time. So I just want to like get rid of them, but hopefully people will buy them. They're $8 now. Put this set up. 
I'm gonna go and do my makeup so I'm more presentable. So the con is about to open. It is 11.59. You can't see it. It's 11.59 and it's supposed to open at 12 for like VIP. Um, we're all finished setting up. So I'm kind of like in the back area where like the celebrities are and I don't know if that's like a good spot but we'll see. I'm fully expecting that it's gonna be a little slow by the time we open, but it's all good. It's just part of the game. You're pressed, yeah. There's pressed. You already pressed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cute. <laughs> Fifteen minutes left of the con. That's too bright. There's fifteen minutes left of the con. And it's so dead. I just want to leave now. There's like nobody here left, but I'm good. And I follow the rules. And I wait until it's over to start packing up. But I'm tired. And I'm gonna go home. So far, it's been like okay, not good, not bad. But we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Every Friday, it's like the same thought process. I'm like, damn. Why am I here? But then Saturday, I'm like, yay, it's fine. So we'll see how it goes. We're shutting down. I love it. I just got to the con. I was a little late, so I haven't done my makeup yet, but I'm gonna do my makeup here. Oh. With my iPad camera. Um, yesterday was a bit slow, but today, hopefully, it's a bit better. I'm really tired, but I finally got my badge. But today's my birthday too, so later tonight I'm gonna go out and then Sunday is gonna be like kind of rough because I have to wake up early and be back here. But, you know, we gotta have fun. So Saturday definitely went a lot better than Friday. What I noticed with AwesomeCon is that most people are here for the guests. Saturday is when they had their really big Star Wars guests, so everybody was like walking around with their lightsabers, but most people were stuck in line for like photo ops and autographs and that kind of thing, so I think a lot of people at this convention are not here to shop, which is like fine, but it definitely shows. Like people already paid to attend the convention and then they're already blowing hundreds on photo ops and autographs, like there's not that much money to go around in Artist Alley after that. So there's like 30 minutes left of the con. It's getting kind of empty, but like I'm really in a rush to leave so I can make it to my birthday dinner. Uh, today was a lot better than yesterday. I was pretty happy with it. It's still like nothing crazy, but it's good. So I didn't vlog too much on Sunday because honestly, I was just kind of, I was just kind of busted to be real, but it was kind of slow. It was around the same as Friday for me personally. Like there'd be times where the hall I was in was just like completely empty, like in that video, but I'm gonna just go through my best sellers. So prints did really well, which I'm always really happy about. Um, a small version of the gamer cat print sold out, which was good. 
Stickers did really well. People love small impulse purchases. I sold out of the Beware the Dog Snoopy sticker, which I was happy about because it was a new design. Pins did well. The best selling pin was the Dim Sum Bunny pin, which I was really happy about. And people really like the little cat on the moon pin too, which always does well at cons. But let's get into my thoughts about Awesome Con. Was it really as awesome as they say? That was kind of cheesy. But basically, it was kind of eh. <laughs> I think how you do will really depend on what you sell. Like, Awesome Con is a pretty mainstream convention, so lots of my anime stuff or like my kawaii kind of stuff maybe didn't resonate as well with a lot of attendees. I'm someone who lives like 20 minutes away from the convention center, so I pretty much had very little overhead. That's why I felt comfortable doing this convention. But let's get into the expenses and the monies. First up, my table was just a standard artist alley table, and that cost $375. I did drive to the convention every day or take the metro, so that equaled to around $54. Again, I recommend using Spot Hero and just picking a cheap spot out to reserve in advance. I brought all my food from home, so that's always great. And then we did have to pay for insurance for this convention, so that equaled around $45. I just used the insurance they suggested because I didn't really want to look into it, but maybe there's like cheaper options out there. I know some artists just pay for a year of insurance, but the $45 is just for this one show. So in total, my expenses came out to be around $474, which is not too bad. But Awesome Con is definitely a convention where the stated attendance numbers does not match how much money you're going to make in Artist Alley. In total revenue, I made around $1,900. So total profit, it was around $1,426 which is definitely a good chunk of change, but you can clearly see that if you had to get like a flight or a hotel, it would definitely eat away at that profit really quickly. AwesomeCon says on their website that they bring over 60,000 fans together, but it definitely doesn't feel that way. <laughs> like there'd be times where like my entire row would just be empty of people. There's just definitely a lot of people stuck in autograph lines and photo ops, which is what they came for, which is like totally fine. But this is just for people who are interested in doing Artist Alley. Attendance numbers does not equal sales, you know? A general consensus, if you don't sell like a lot of mainstream stuff that like really pertains to the guests that are coming to the convention, uh, Awesome Con is probably not super travel worthy or at least fly worthy. Definitely not fly worthy for a lot of people. But those are just my thoughts. Everyone has a different definition of what's worth it or not. But, you know, I'll probably do Awesome Con again since I just live so close it just makes sense but since dc is a pretty expensive area to stay i would just think twice if you need to travel for this convention overall i had a good time the people i did get to speak to were really nice but i was tabling solo for the most part so i didn't get to walk around too much getting to the point in my convention journey where people are like coming up to my booth and they're like oh i saw you at this convention or that convention and i'm like wow you like remember me i'm so happy <laughs> so thank you for everyone who stopped by and now we have another con to go to. So I'm trying to test out a new setup for my sun catchers because before I had them like attached to Velcro and I like put them on a panel, but I feel like I was making less sales with those because like people couldn't see that they're like sun catchers, you know? So I basically like attached these rings and I like attached them to the grid wall. And these are like sticky tab like things, you know. Um, and then I got like an external light. I didn't realize it was not battery powered, so I guess I'll use like my portable battery for it. But basically you plug it in and then turn it on. And then people can kind of see like all the rainbows and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll be testing that out at GalaxyCon and we'll see how that goes. But I think, I think it looks good. I think it'll like work out. Yeah. Good morning. I am so late. Like, I was like literally like the last person in the living dock, but now I'm like walking. I parked and now I'm walking to the convention, but we're here. 
So when I was walking up to the convention center, there was already people outside lighting up. So it seemed like a pretty good sign to me. But that also means that I had to hurry up and like get inside and set up because I was already running a little bit late. But this year, GalaxyCon Richmond happened so well in Richmond, Virginia. It took place March 15th through the 17th. But I live around an hour and a half from Richmond, so I just drove down morning of. But I was setting up by myself this time, so I was kind of feeling the time pressure because it's a bit slower. Like, I was running late and I could barely use the loading dock. Like, the worker was like, man, you're, you're cutting it a little close. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. But it's okay. We chillin'. No worries. We're here. But basically, the way I set up by myself is I build the whole thing on the ground and then... I just like lift it up on the table and hope it doesn't fall apart because I'm too short to build it on the table. But I started to realize that like once you start using these panels a lot for conventions, the connectors actually get like a little looser because my whole display kind of fell down. But maybe it was a mix of like I just was rushing too much and I didn't like secure the connectors very well. But like regardless, I was I was sweating about it. So we're finally all set up after like a big, big struggle, but I think it looks okay. I had to add, I had to add this panel for like the stability because it fell down, which was like a whole thing. Uh, I think the lights for the sun catchers look good. You can see all the rainbows, which is like cool. Um, Followers, pins. Stickers. This is a six foot table, so I'm kind of like shoving everything in, but that's like fine. Prints. This is a new print. The little cats walking home from school. So cute. And then, yeah, it looks a little jank, but that's okay. Yeah. So we are done with day one. It's kind of dark, I'm sorry, but it was okay. I made my table back, but you know, I'm bumming at my friend's place, so I don't have any hotel costs like that. I do have to pay for parking and food and that kind of stuff, but so far I think it's like okay. It wasn't anything crazy, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. I was just in like such a rush today. I literally made it into the loading dock one minute before it closed and they were just like, put your stuff in, get your badge, and then go park, like, as soon as you can. I was like, okay. And I was like, running. <laughs> it was a lot. And then when I was setting up, my, like, booth collapsed, and I was just like, damn, I'm, I'm a mess right now. But we got through it, and it's okay. And I'm excited to see what tomorrow is like. But right now, I'm gonna go meet up with my friends, and it's gonna be a good time. So for breakfast, I went to this place called Ironclad Coffee, and let me tell you, it was actually so good. I came in like just picking this place actually by random because it's just close to where I was staying, but I got a chicken biscuit and a bagel for a snack later in the day. But apparently they make all their biscuits in-house and then they ship all their bagels from New York. So this, this, it slapped. It was really good. <laughs> Interior of the place was really cute too. Like I can imagine going on a little coffee date over here, but I am stuck in the Richmond Convention Center. So I guess I'll just eat it in there. But Saturday was a lot more busy than Friday. In fact, it might have been too busy for some people because apparently the line to get into the convention was kind of atrocious if you only had like a Saturday only badge. So I feel bad if you spent a lot of time in line and you only had a one day badge, you know definitely something the convention can try to fix. They're making the convention four days next year, so I think that's like their answer to try to mitigate the long lines, but I don't know how much that's gonna help really, but we shall see. Day two, I sold out of all the Gojo cats and the Nanami cats. These are sold out. 
out. Um, what else? Still have everything else, but I, mean, I sold out of all the gojos with the sunglasses. I'm trying to be like a YouTuber now. So we're pretty much done. I want to go home, but basically, best sellers were the cat bottle sticker, um, all the Cinema Roll and Snoopy Beware the Dog stickers, Gojo with the glasses also did really well. Um, I think the sun catcher setup worked a lot better now that it's clear because I sold a lot more than like the last convention I went to. Um, what else? Gojo, of course, sold out. Then Nanami also sold out. Yippee! And then, yeah, my booth is right next to the <laughs> United States Army booth. So. That was funny. But yeah, we're almost done. We're all like 15 minutes left. So that's a wrap on GalaxyCon. Overall, I think it went pretty well. Like, it was definitely better than AwesomeCon. I think GalaxyCon feels a bit more like a general convention, not like super pigeonholed into comics or like that kind of thing. Friday was pretty dead, and then Saturday was decent, and then Sunday was pretty good as well. So I was pretty happy with it. So getting into the expenses and that kind of thing, the table cost me when I applied $397. Now this is the first time I've ever done GalaxyCon Richmond, but I know if you like rebook or if you've done it in previous years and you rebook, it's like a little bit cheaper. Like I rebooked for 2025 and it cost around $370. For hotel, my friend graciously let me bum at their place, so that was a nice zero dollars. For parking and travel, I paid like $20 a day to park in the garage that's like right next to the convention center. But apparently there's like cheaper options around, there's street parking, so maybe there's some better options out there, but I just didn't want to like go look for them. And then for food, I spent maybe around like 70 bucks-ish. So yeah, the total expenses came out to around $537, which is pretty good. It was definitely super helpful that I didn't have to pay for any hotel. For total revenue, I made around $2,500, so total profit came out to be $1,963, which I'm pretty happy with. It's not like crazy numbers, but for a con that's like pretty close to home, I'm not complaining about it. Some issues I had with the con was Saturday again was like super packed, but like overly packed where people had to wait in like pretty long lines to get into the convention. And if people spend less time at the convention, then maybe they have less time to spend in Artist Alley and stuff. Um, my spot was like kinda in the back corner, so it definitely wasn't like the best spot. So maybe like some people didn't even get to like where I was if they had only like a one day badge. So that's definitely something to consider. They announced that for 2025, they're making GalaxyCon four days instead of three days. So it's gonna be like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that's really gonna help like the overcrowding issues with Saturday, but we'll see. The nice thing about GalaxyCon is that they let you rebook in the artist alley, which like not a lot of cons do. Another really big issue that a lot of um that a lot of the vendors had was the Wi-Fi. Like they let you pay for Wi-Fi, but then the Wi-Fi wouldn't work for a lot of people, which is like super frustrating and lots of people lost sales because of that. Um, I thankfully think that because I was in like a back corner, uh, my signal was kind of fine because there was just like less people there. Um, I had T-Mobile, so I just used my phone hotspot and I was chilling. I literally had no issues whatsoever. So maybe if you're thinking of coming to this con, maybe investing in a hotspot might be a good idea for you. I personally rebooked for 2025. Um, they also give you like a little bit of a discount if you rebook. So I paid 370 for my table for 2025. And it's just nice to have like a guaranteed con because like, you know, the con application process is kind of <laughs> stressful sometimes. 
I did well enough and I live close enough where I feel pretty good about rebooking. So I'll see you in 2025. But yeah, overall I had a good time, spent time with my friends and met lots of nice people. I like frolicked around Richmond for a bit, which I haven't really done before. But you know, like any city, there's nice places in Richmond and then there's some sketch places in Richmond. So just like be aware of that. But that goes for just like any city, you know? But yeah, thanks for everyone who stopped by. It really does mean the world that like people enjoy my work and like want to look at it, want to buy it, you know? It's, it's just crazy to me. My next two cons are going to be Big Lick in Nova and then Fan Expo in Philly. So if you're thinking about going to those, come and stop by. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you found it helpful or whatever. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. We're done. That was the fastest that we ever done it. <laughs> You're so fast, Kenny. What? <laughs> You're so fast. You're like, boo. I was like, all right, yeah. yeah. So fast. <laughs> Yay.